uh, clip we're going to look at variances, covariances and correlations based on joint probability distributions. So um, here at the top of the uh, spreadsheet we've got uh, the formula for the variance, the formula for the covariance and the formula for a correlation. So the variance of the random variable x is equal to the expected value of x squared minus the expected value of x squared. And you've got a similar, similar formula for the variance in y. The covariance of x and y uh, for the joint random variable uh, uh, x, y, x and y um, is given by the expected value of x minus the expected value of x or the mean of uh, x times y minus the expected value of y uh, or the mean of y. That can be written as the sum of x minus the expected value of x times y minus the expected value of y times the probability that x and y occur together and that's summed over all values that x and y can possibly take. So this is uh, similar to uh, an expectation for a single random variable, but it's uh, a, a, an expectation for a joint outcome, and therefore the summation is across all possible uh, outcomes. Now suppose that we have a joint probability distribution. The values that x can take are 0, 1, 2, and 3. The values that y can take are 30, 45, and 70. And this table here gives the probabilities associated with each of these outcomes. So the probability of observing x equals 1 and y equals 45 is 0 0.06, and so on. Now, at either side, I've calculated what's called the marginal distribution, which is the um, distribution of x on the one hand and the marginal distribution of y on the other. And it's calculated by just, it's, it's basically giving you the probabilities of observing the different values of x. And it's calculated simply by summing uh, across all values of y for the different outcomes that x might take. Similarly, for uh, the marginal distribution of y, you sum across all values of x for each of the values that y might take. The uh, total will always equal 1, whether we were talking about the marginal distribution of x, the marginal distribution of y, or the joint distribution of x and y. Now let's work out the expected value of x and the expected value of y. We're clearly going to need these for uh, both uh, calculating the variance and the covariance. So the expected values of x, we uh, know what the values of x itself will be, but we also now know from the marginal distribution what the probability of observing the different values of x uh, are, and we can multiply those by the value values of x themselves to give us uh, the product x times the probability of x. We add these together and we get the expected value of x. And uh, for y we carry through exactly the same procedure and we get the expected value of y equals 49.15. We're also going to need the expected values of x squared and y squared. So uh, these are simply calculated using uh, the same approach uh, as for the expected value of x and the expected value of um, y. We uh, list the values of x squared. The probability of x stays the same. We multiply x squared by the probability of x, sum the totals together, and we get the expected value of x squared equals 4.06. And the expected value of y squared is equal to 2,676. That enables us to put into place the formula for the variance of x and the variance of y.
it's equal the variance of x is equal to um, the expected value of x squared 4.06 minus the expected value of x squared which is 1.84 squared the uh, uh, formula that you need to uh, enter into Excel is shown up uh, on the formula bar here L25 minus L1 raised to the power 2 and the answer is 0 0.674 not only can we work out the variance, we can also work out the standard deviation, which is simply the square root of the variance. So you take the square root of the contents of cell L27, and the result is 0 0.8212, which is the standard deviation of X. You go through exactly the same procedure with Y. Variance of Y is 260.5 and the standard deviation of y is therefore 16.14. Now we're going to calculate the covariance of x and y. We're going to apply this formula here, which uh, takes uh, all possible outcomes, joint outcomes of x and y. Um, we sum across all of these the value x minus the expected value of x times y minus the expected value of y times the probability of the joint outcome x, y. The joint outcome probabilities are shown in this part of uh, uh, the spreadsheet, so that's, that's no problem to calculate that. We need, though, the um, value of x minus its expectation. The value of x uh, is here in cell C12. The expected value of x is in cell L17. So <clears throat> what we do is to take the difference here between C12 and L17, and we do the same for Y. So we take uh, the value for Y, which is in the first instance D11, less its expected value, which is in cell P17. So going back to this cell here, we take D11 minus P17 times C12 minus L17 times D12 times the probability of observing X equals 0 and Y equals 30. Now the dollars are included to ensure that uh, as you go across, as you drag this formula across, you hold on to the values of X and to the values of Y shown in the row and the column uh, of the table above uh, without uh, causing yourselves problems by dragging into other rows or columns. So this um, table here gives you the individual values for x minus expected value of x, y minus the expected value of y times the probability of x and y. So therefore all you have to do is to sum these together to get the covariance. Well that's exactly what uh, this cell does. It sums all the values in the grey rectangle here and gives you the value for the covariance which is uh, in fact minus, minus 3.636 so these two variables negatively covary. Final calculation is to work out the correlation between x and y. The formula for this is the covariance of x and y divided by the square root of the variance of x times the variance of y, or indeed the standard deviation of x times the standard deviation of y, which means that you don't need to do the square root. This cell here actually uses the standard, uh, the formula uses the standard deviations. You take the covariance and divide by the product of the two standard deviations, which are in cell P29 and um, L27. Sorry, L29. And the result is here, minus 0 0.274. So you have a negative correlation as well.